Oh, hi Mark. Welcome back to Portal. Can you guess what we're doing in this video? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna give it another go at what I have now dubbed Amalgamation Percent for my speedrun for Portal. If you saw the description of my previous video, you would understand what that meant. Basically, I couldn't figure out a proper name for this weird version of Portal that I... This weird version of Portal speedruns that I use that uses some glitches, but not enough to... Like, it, it doesn't really fit any category that exists. At least, I don't think so. So, I've just given it my own name, and uh, that's what I'll be referring to it from now on, unless I decide it more appropriately, more appropriately fits elsewhere. Um, goodness, I'm stuttering a lot already. <laughs> this is a really good sign. No, it's not. That's, that's sarcasm, for those who can't tell. Um, Anyways, I made a, one major change to my um, to my strategy for the speedrun, and that major change won't be seen until the very end of the game when we get to that big turret room and the GLaDOS boss fight. So when we get there, I'll explain what I'm doing as I do it, because I actually have something to talk about now. Uh, otherwise, I guess... Let's get started. Start new game at Chamber Zero. Wait for Crosshair. Crosshair. And go. All right. Well, oh, and I already received lag frames. Nice. Um. Well, other than the new trick I'm going to be using in hopefully under half an hour from now. Uh, I don't know what else to talk about. Um, so, uh, this is really just kind of the improvising commentary now. I don't have any plans for this one. Um, jeez. Now this time I actually finally get to fit in there. <laughs> How are people able to do it from afar? <laughs> that is a very... Very small. Um, I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. There's a word I'm looking for, but whatever. Okay, I can barely hear the game. The air conditioning in my room is on, and it's really loud, and I have no control over whether or not it's on, so. Yeah, it's just something we're gonna have to deal with. <laughs> um, oh gosh, what's that gonna have on the audio of this video done? Are you all just gonna hear a constant. Roar in the Head background. Oh god, I hope not. After completing each test. Um, First, however, well, the since I have no real tricks to explain, other than, other than the one that I'm going to be using it again, hopefully less than half an hour from now, I'll just see if I can, um, if I can instance, remember some sort of obscure portal storage trivia. Storage just... Uh, just as I go along, I, I want to find something interesting to talk about. Um, so, yeah, when I think of something, I'll let you know, I guess. Um, that was weird. I know that's a glitch where if you put the cube on the button for only a frame and then remove it, the button still stays pressed down. And that's how you clear um, the first standalone chamber with two with your dual portal device in zero portals. <laughs> is you is you get the box up top by doing uh, a very precise very jump, very well. and then and then you put it on the button just very 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 swiftly, and then you box jump up with the box. So you can go through the door, which which was opened by the previous one frame button glitch you just done, or whatever. And then, then uh, you box jump up to get the other box, and you put both boxes on the buttons using even more box jumps that take forever to freaking do because box jumps are freaking hard as heck. And uh, and uh, that's how you do it in zero portals. <laughs> I have a feeling nobody understands what the heck I'm talking about unless they've done it themselves. Um, 
Well done. Remember, the aperture science bring your daughter to work day is the yeah, perfect time to have a test. Yeah, that's a feature in this game is there's a extra challenges you can do where um the six chambers just before the last level of the game can uh like I get to beat them in as little time as possible, with the fewest amount of portals as possible, and, um... Oh, that sucks. Let me out! Oh my gosh, Well, that could have gone a lot faster. But yeah, you can do it and, it, it, like, it'll keep track of how many portals you use, or how many steps you take, which is weird because their, um, their definition of a step is kind of, kind of wonky. <laughs> And then the least amount of time, obviously. Um, perhaps I can uh, have anything that explains some of the strategies I use for those when we get there, if I remember. Ow! <laughs> I don't understand how I took damage there, but I did. As part of a required test protocol, our previous statement suggesting that we would not monitor this was an outright um, <laughs> Once you get the first portal Good done, job. which As I have here, uh, you can start destroying cameras by shooting a portal behind them, and there's an achievement the if you get all the ones you can get. Um, in the orange box, there's a cheat code that allows you to shoot portals on any surface, and um, I wondered if the cameras that are on uh, non-portalable surfaces could be destroyed in that way. And it turns out, you can't. If you shoot a portal behind them, uh, it just kind of stays floating there. It's really, really weird. But, whatever. Right now we are around 5 minutes 30 seconds in. I think this is good time. Kinda. I mean, that chamber 4 was, was kinda slow. So I'm pretty upset about that. Oh, here's something interesting that I noticed. Uh, this elevator design isn't brought over to Portal 2. It's replaced by a new elevator design, but it's still in the same place as it is in the in the early chambers of Portal 2 when it, they're just going through the old chambers for um, you know, nostalgia purposes, reteaching you how to play the game. <laughs> Very early levels of Portal 2 are just repeats of the levels from Portal 1. Uh, and um, and the elevators are just still in the same place, but they're completely redesigned. <laughs> so that's a bit of an inconsistency. <laughs> oh, by the way, I previously mentioned that I wasn't going to do a Portal 2 speedrun of sorts. <laughs> but um, the more I think about it, the more I think... I mean, I kind of want to. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to take more than an hour, but... Gosh, I love that game anyways, so, I mean, I would be willing to put into time for it. Oops, no, I don't want to do that. I think that's the first time during the speedruns that I put the port on the cube and it didn't fall off the platform in that chamber. <laughs> Go back to my previous two videos and let me know if that's true, or I could just check. I mean, I don't have a lot of people watching these anyways, I'm just doing it for fun. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright. The again. Momentum Room! This is a nice chamber. The music that it plays in the background of this chamber is probably my favorite soundtrack of the... Of, uh, of this game. Um, it's too bad I can't hear it that well because I need to turn down the volume of my computer so I could hear myself <laughs> very loud. And I also need to turn down the volume of the game so that you could hear my voice in recording. <laughs> so. so yeah, I had to make this game really quiet. 
for this video. So now I don't get to hear my good music. Plus, I go through the chamber faster than it takes for the music to start playing anyways, so... Well, the music, by the way, is called Self-Esteem Fund, and I forget who made... I forget who made it. I forgot her name. Or his name or something. Oops. No! Let me out! Oh! That was so close. <laughs> oh, well, it's on a cycle, so I didn't lose any time. Yeah, so the person who made the soundtrack of this game, uh, yeah, I forget. What is his name? Or their name? <laughs> ah, no, he's gonna shoot me! Alright. That's a weird... Like what? It just... This kind of... Why does this thing immediately do a full 180 as soon as you jump off of it? Is that just how it's programmed? Or does it suddenly get a boost of speed and get over here in the time it takes me to pick up the portal gun and press the button? I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. Maybe doing it later would save me some time on that chamber. Jumping off of that way. I don't know. I'll we'll have to do some more experiments with it. I did do my practice runs, by the way. Last night, I started to learn my new strategy for my, um, uh, for the big turret room, and uh, and I just kind of practiced that the entirety of Chamber 19 and all the escape sequences, just so I would be a little bit more experienced and would have places to save time for when the game almost softlocks me again with the freaking rocket turret. I still don't know what happened there. <laughs> if you don't know, my previous portal speedrun uh, had, <laughs> had a bit of an unfortunate uh, moment in the escape sequence where the rocket turret kind of just stopped working. <laughs> I get shot a rocket that then decided that physics don't exist for it, and it just kind of stayed in place. And then the rocket turret just stopped. Now that you are in control of all portals, this all right, let's do take a very, this. very long time. If you become lightheaded from thirst, feel free to pass out. Can I make that? I can't. Alright. Is that the fastest I've done that chamber? Oh no, I did the time challenge. Oh yeah, this is this is where the um this is where those uh six, this is where the line of six chambers begin that have those extra challenges at the end of the game, if you want. It's a bit <laughs> It's a bit difficult, though. <laughs> like, this chamber right here, they expect you to clear in under 10 seconds. Um, but, uh, that uses a strategy that I mentioned into... That was really close. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Oh, god damn it. I was really hoping to get a run without any major mistakes. Well, I don't know what I was saying anymore. Um, oh yeah, that chamber uh, for the 10 second challenge uses the uh, uses a strategy that I mentioned in my first Portal speedrun video where you um, uh, where you put the portal above and below you to gain, uh, to gain the momentum instead of the um, instead of uh, jumping down from the stairs. Go through, go through, go through. Yes. Alright, and then... I remember I lost a lot of time on this part. Uh, on, this, on this chamber uh, in the last speedrun, so... I'm just hoping I'm lucky. Nope, I mess up once anyways. God freaking... There we go. That's a bit better. That and then there's this. This one right there. Here we go. All right.
right where you are. Good. Do, 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 do. Okay. I need this to work, please. I need to stop with these things. I'm sure somebody thinks I'm just lying about this. I did it! I did it! <laughs> I did <laughs> Finally! Oh, and then the game crashed. Okay, there we go. No, stop it. <laughs> Too much lag. What? You didn't fall over? Oh, okay. Another major mistake. Oh, I got the blue there. Right, cool. Nice. Please put me down. Please put me down. All right, do this. Uh, no, I'm not gonna risk that. I have a, I have a different strategy for this chamber. But what are you kidding me? Just. I have a new strategy for this chamber too, but it's uh, I don't, I don't feel like using it now because <laughs> I haven't practiced it all that much yet. Well done, Android. The enrichment center well, once there's again another, reminds you that there's Android another big hell mistake. is a real right. place where you will be sent at the first sign of defiance. One day I'll get a speedrun where I make no big mistakes, and it won't be a world record for anything, but at least I'll be proud of myself. No, I'm not going to do box jumps still. I am not really good at box jump. I need to need to get astronomical luck for that, and I just don't have astronomical luck. The symptoms most commonly produced by enrichment center testing are superstition, perceiving inanimate objects as alive, and hallucinations. The okay. enrichment center reminds you that the weighted companion cube will never threaten to stab you and, in fact, cannot speak. And then that's going to solve itself while I go over here and hopefully do this first try. I'm like, yes, I did it. reminds you that the weighted companion cube cannot speak. In the event that the weighted companion cube Yeah, my last speed run saw that trick messing up uh, once before I actually got it. Alright. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. This is a mistake. No! Oh, I missed it. Great, now I have to wait for Tim all the way back over here. Well, that's another major mistake. Hopefully the new trick that I learned will be enough to save all that time and more. Oh, for God's sake. Freaking, all right, well, I'm not, I am not happy anymore. I am no longer excited for this. You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly <sighs> brought you good luck. However, it can accommodate you for the rest of the test and unfortunately must be euthanized. You euthanized your faithful companion cube more quickly than any test subject on record. Congratulations. I still can't get the inputs right for those. Timing's way harder than you would think. Oh, well, at least I got the, the door portal glitch. 
and I can just bring forward on that thing. <laughs> and what's the strategy again? <laughs> I'm not gonna get stuck on this one this time, or stuck underneath there. Uh, I got I got stuck on this little hinge multiple times. Uh, well, no, I, I got stuck on it once each time. Uh, for each of these speedrun videos so far. Oh. Oh shoot, oh shoot, oh shoot. Pfft, are you kidding me? Oh my god. I need to just stop talking. It's messing with my concentration. First half of the game done. I mean, if you can really call it a half. We're about ready to go into the escape sequence. And our current time is 20 minutes and 40 seconds. So I've got a little under 10 minutes, a little, under, a little over 9 minutes to, to finish the rest of the game. I think I can do that. I think I got this. Welcome to the final test. Ooh. When you are done, you will drop the device. Enrich my center. Here we go. Save one. Congratulations. The test is now over. I'm going to do this fast this time so you can hear the voice clips actually glitch out in the way I described. Yes! Now you're gonna be hearing voice clips that should have played like minutes ago playing now. Wait, wait, hang on. Uh, well, wait, that came out wrong. And I'm, uh, I'm too cool to think about what I meant to say. We are very, very happy for your success. We are oh yeah, by the way, my previous run of speed. Yeah, you can shoot portals through that. I didn't know until um, until my previous speedrun of this, and I, and I tested that a few times during my practice runs, and yeah, you can just shoot right through that. It's really interesting. Make no further attempt to leave the testing area. Assume the party escort submission position. The voice clip that's playing right now and is about to finish. So what was that? Well, never mind. Oh, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, the voice clip that was playing when I was mentioning it was supposed to play um, as soon as you escaped the fire. And uh, yeah, we, we escaped the fire a long time ago. <laughs> Alright, make this jump. Yes! First try on that. Sometimes that jump is a bit wonky. I don't know why. Yes, I did 
All right, and then we've got glitchy room. I still don't understand what causes the, the slingshot thing, but whatever. Get behind it, get behind it, yes. The bling. And then the game always freaks out right there for whatever reason. I don't know why. Can I see that? I need to see that, please. Please, let me see what's up there. Thank you. I need a platform to stand on. Thank you. Alright, I'm uh, going the wrong way. Here we go. Will, the, will this work to play or will it not play? It does play! Aha! It's like a 50 50 chance. <laughs> Played around half of my practice runs and it didn't play for the other half. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. <sighs> oh yeah, there's a fun fact. That uh, that hallway I just passed under, as soon as you walk through it, uh, pistons come down and block your way back. So if you're scared of this turret room, it sucks for you. And, um... <laughs> you're not a good person. You know that, right? Hi. Um, but you can use a barrel. There's there's random barrels in that area that you can um, put underneath the pistons, and uh, they'll just um, they can stop the pistons, and you can crouch back through it, <laughs> whatever. Uh, but there's no point to that other than <laughs> postponing the inevitable, I guess. <laughs> All right, rocket turret time. Good. Do yeah, that, thing. or I will kill you. <laughs> I'm going to kill you, and all the cake is gone. You don't even care. All right, here's hoping that I can do this better than in the last video. Is that all? These be kind of a time save <laughs> that I didn't have in my previous attempt. Alright, and then move down this way. Let me out! Well, I did it. It was weird, but I did it. <laughs> Alright. Well, that makes it feel a little bit better. <laughs> oh yeah, check this out. Very, very small time save. Time save nonetheless. <laughs> Didn't make it go far enough now. Alright then, here comes the strategy for this turret room that I was excited to tell you all about. Here we go. Start off with this turret right here. Knock it over like usual. Go to the next turret right there. Knock it over like usual. Turret on the left side here. Knock this one over as usual. And then you get a good view of that turret up there. Knock this one over as usual. Shoot a portal up there, ignore all the rest of the turrets. Get all the way up here. Like that. And then shoot orange on the way down. Then the other turrets can hit you when you're going that fast. So blue's right there, and then I jump down, shoot orange, grab you. Uh, I am going to grab you the right way because that can cause problems for later if I don't do it. I can't use the random portal doesn't shoot glitch on this hallway anymore, but whatever. That is a small price to pay for what is probably the biggest new time save that I finally figured out how to do, which is... Put the turret right here, the blue portal right there, shoot an orange portal right here, and then intentionally get hit a couple of times, and did it. There we go. <laughs> and now we can basically skip the entire Gladys boss fight. Um, well, I need to actually get this guy. 
and we'll just call it a day. I guess we both know that isn't going to happen. You chose uh, this map. Right. Now I have a surprise for you. Deploying surprise in five, four. For a second. All right, the morality core just dropped. I know there's a way to do this faster. I've seen people do it faster before, but whatever. All right, morality core is right there. I'll just portal them over here. Uh, group them all up. In one nice little pile here. No, come on, closer together than that. Good enough. Over here. Alright, let's see if I can do this first try. And time! That is finally sub 30. That is a 28.55. Oh boy, okay. Well, I still got some, some pretty bad time losses. It's, it's, uh, so I got the pretty bad time losses this run, so um, uh, so I'm probably gonna try again in the future. This isn't gonna be the last time I I do this speed run. Me through, me through. Yay! Now I'm back down. Oh yeah, in this battle she mentions the combine from Half Life if you actually play it normally, but I don't. I just skipped the entire thing. Uh -huh. Right, anyways, yeah, I'm probably gonna do another speedrun of this game to try and actually get a a, a perfect speedrun with my tricks, but um, uh, but until then, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Well, no, I'm not. I wish it was better, but hey, I got sub 30 finally, and that was my that was my goal. So, uh, yeah, all right, cool. Uh, once again, I will not make you sit through the credits. I know how much you love the credits. That's why I'm not giving it to you. <laughs> that was weird. I still don't know how to end up these videos. Um, <laughs> I'll come up with an official outro for my channel at some point. Uh, until then, I guess I'll just see you later.